lots of people think they don't understand biodiversity. They think it's something really scientific and strange and you have to get a degree to understand it. In fact, we all understand it because it's what we live in and with. It's the multiplicity, the extravagance, the exuberance of the world we live in. The number of bugs, the number of funguses, the number of flowering plants, the number of birds, the number of flying insects, including the ones that bite us. All of it is an ensemble that hangs together. It's the web in which we live. And we share our DNA with these creatures. We keep thinking that somehow we'll eliminate some of them from the environment. We might like the place better. And it's kind of crazy because you may not realize this, but the creepy crawlies, the things you really would rather weren't there, are the things that everything else depends on, that your birds depend on, that your frogs depend on, all the things that your hedgehogs depend on, all the things that we love depends on some of the things that we don't love. And they make a network that hangs together. When we say biodiversity, we don't just mean nature, because nature's kind of stuff we like, stuff we think is spontaneously occurring, that is good in itself, that is harmonious. Nature isn't harmonious. Nature is a state of equilibrium that is brought about by constant war. And we're a part of that. And we have to be really careful not to upset its equilibrium. If one species wins, then all the others lose. So if man wins, we'll end up living in a desert. We like living on the moon. Now, some people think that might be groovy. Uh, that would break my heart. I can't imagine living without the multiplicity, the richness, the extraordinariness, the elaborateness of the world I live in. I'm an earthling. I'm passionate about it. And I, if anything happens to diminish this planet or extinguish it, there will be a huge loss, not just to us, but to all of creation. We've got a sacred trust here, this brilliant planet. Let's look after it.